Hiya! Welcome back to my channel. Um, as we are at the end of August today, I thought I would do an August favourites. I've not done one of these before, um, but I really like watching other people's and I thought it would be a good thing for me to do. Um, so I was kind of struggling for a bit of inspiration um, for what to do. So yeah, here we go. Um, I've got a range of different things. I've got some sort of beauty stuff, fashion, um, homeware. Um, I'm going to chat about, um, what else am I going to chat about? You have to wait and see. <laughs> so, okay, I will start with my Aussie shampoo and conditioner. Um, I've used it before, but I've been using it kind of a bit more religiously this month. Um, and I love it. Um, I've got the Miracle Moist Shampoo. It says it's for hair that's dry, damaged and a bit unhappy. I wouldn't say my hair is particularly dry, possibly damaged because I use heat on it and I colour it. Um, but it just seems to make my hair lovely and soft and looks healthy. Um, and then at the moment I'm using the 3 Minute Miracle Colour Deep Treatment. Um, the colour has pretty much come out of my hair now, I'm getting it done next week, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, but this seems to really like bring the colour out um, and again it makes it lovely and conditioned. Um, it says it's got Australian wild peach extract in it and it does, it does smell nice. I actually prefer, I had another one before this and I think it was... Um, it was either from moisture or something, I can't remember, but it smelled like marshmallows and it was just amazing. So I'm going to try and find that one again because I really like that one. Um, it's a shame it wasn't for colour because colour one was quite useful when I've got coloured hair. But oh, I just love the smell of it. Um, so yeah, these have been great this month. I really recommend them. I know they're not cheap, um, but you can often find them on offer, uh, sort of like two for eight pounds and things like that, which is still... Yes, it's a bit on the pricey side, but they do an amazing job. And like with the conditioner, I don't use it every time. I use another conditioner and then perhaps just use this once a week as like a, as like it says, a deep treatment. Um, so it's, it does last me quite a while. So that's those. Next up is something that I've only just started using. It's from Soap and Glory. Um, it's called Drama Clean and it is a... Now, I'm never sure how to say this. Is it Michela or Micella cleansing water? Um, I've seen a lot of hype about cleansing waters um, and I was kind of thinking about trying one. Um, and I know, I think Garnier do one and... Oh, who's the other one? Neutrogena? I can't remember. Um, but then I saw Soap and Glory were bringing one out. I love Soap and Glory. I have several other, you know, I've got their shower gels, bath stuff scrubs and I've loved all of them so I thought you know what I'll give it a try and I so far haven't been disappointed I've been using it I don't know maybe a couple of weeks three weeks um and oh it's just amazing like I put some on a cotton bud and just sweep it over my face like even when I haven't been wearing makeup it's quite gross you can see like the amount of dirt that comes off your face but I don't know if you're like me that's quite satisfying just to see like what you're taking away from your face and you feel like your face is really clean after you've used it. Um, it's for face, lips and eyes and it's got with peach extracts and natural cucumber juice and the, the smell, you can really smell the cucumber, it's such a fresh, um, light, delicate smell. Um, it really, I love it, it, it really makes me think clean um, and like, I mean I've been using it for like I said, about three weeks, and I've reused what that much. You don't need a lot on the pad. Um, it it does, it's, you know, just a few drops. Wipe it over your face twice a day, um, and yeah, you're done. Um, these are also meant to be really good for getting makeup off because the particular particles that are in it are supposed to be kind of like dirt magnets. So anything on your face that shouldn't be there is attracted to this and comes off as you sort of wipe it on your face. I haven't tried it with getting makeup off yet. 
Um, because to be honest, I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup. Um, I don't tend to put makeup on if I'm not going out, um, and I haven't been out much, so um, I will try it with um, getting makeup off. Like when I start college, I'll probably wear makeup then. So I'll give that a try then, and perhaps I can let you know what it's like for that. But yeah, I mean, this was maybe four or five pounds, which is slightly more expensive than the other sort of drugstore um, cleansing waters. But I really love it. It's a great brand. Um, uh, it's for all skin types, soap and alcohol free, and it's pink. Awesome. What have I got next? Um, I was in. Um, what was I going to say? Um, yes, I was looking for a facial serum, um, and I've sort of. I don't know. I've been looking in like. Boots and Superdrug and I don't know there's just so many I had no idea what to choose um, some of them are quite expensive and I you know I don't want to spend like 25 30 pounds on a serum if it's not really going to do anything um, and I, I just had no clue where to start but then in the post I got a little sample of the Benefit Instant Comeback Facial Serum which kind of felt like a bit of a sign because I don't remember well, I didn't order it, um, perhaps I went in for a competition, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, it arrived and I thought, oh, okay, let's give it a try. So I was use I've been using it at night, um, after I've cleansed my face, toned, and then I've been putting the serum on. Just literally need a couple of drops because it spreads quite nicely. And I just love it, it um, it's got a nice fresh... Sort of, it's not really got scent, but it's it smells fresh. Does that make sense? No, probably not. Um, but um, yeah, it, I love the way it makes my skin feel. It's really cooling, um, and you, I don't know. You feel like your face, your skin is nice and plumped up. Um, unfortunately, I think it's empty now. I can't seem to get any more out of it, and I can't decide whether to buy another like a proper pot of it or whether there's another serum I should try so I was kind of going to ask you guys actually if you could recommend any serums that aren't too expensive um, that you would perhaps recommend me giving a try you know I don't I don't need like an anti-wrinkle kind of serum or anything like that just something to kind of give my skin a bit of moisture and you know make it nice and supple and plump and keep it nice yeah so yeah I'd love to hear your comments um, in the drop bar below um, of what you would recommend really so yeah that's that benefit serum uh, okay I've got a couple more kind of beauty things next thing is a lip balm yeah lip balm from the body shop um, I think I must have got this as a gift because I don't remember buying it um, but I think possibly, yeah, I possibly got it as a gift for Christmas or something like that and I found it in my one of my drawers and I needed a new lip balm so I thought, yeah, we'll give it a try. The one I've got is Born Lippy Mango Peach Lip Balm um, and it's lovely. Um, it's got a sort of, you have got an orange tint to it. I don't know, you'll probably not be able to see this particularly well. Um, but, oh, it smells amazing. I love it mango, well, I love mango and peach, and I could just smell it forever. It's amazing. Mm. Um, it's great. It's yeah, as I said, it's a lovely orange colour. Um, I've just been using it every night before I go to bed. Um, like slip a bit, slick a bit on my lips, because um, I find that if I put it on during the day, I'm just going to lick it off because it tastes quite nice as well. Um, so I thought if I put it on before I go to bed, it's got time to sink in, do what it's got to do without me licking it off. And I must admit, my lips do feel lovely and soft when I wake up in the morning. Um, I don't know how much this was, um, because I didn't buy it, someone gave it to me. But I can't imagine that they're that expensive, and I'll see if I can find a link to put below for you. Um, and I'm guessing they probably do other scents flavours as well. Um, but this is going to last me ages. I've been using it like all month, and like none of it's gone. So... Yeah, I think it's going to be a good buy. 
Right, and last but not least with my makeup beauty sort of thing is this amazing lip gloss. I don't know if this camera will do it justice. It's by MAC, it's the Dazzle Glass and it is in the colour Extra Amps. I actually saw um, Louise from Sprinkle of Glitter talking about this and when I saw the fact that it was pink and sparkly I just knew I had to go and get it. Um, I think Louise actually referred to it as like Barbie's lip gloss which it really is. Um, but the, the nice thing about it is when you put it on your lips it's quite subtle you just get a lovely pink shimmer because um, I mean if you look at it in the tube it does look very loud but in reality when you actually put it on your lips it um, you, ju you just get a lovely sort of light pink shimmer um, and it also smells of vanilla it's delicious um, I don't tend to buy a lot of MAC just because they're more expensive. This was £17.50. Um, if I could afford to, I would buy MAC all day. I love MAC makeup. Um, a few years ago I had a um, like a makeover at the MAC counter and I did treat myself to a couple of bits. Um, but I just, yeah, they, I love, especially their lip colours. I always find lip glosses and their lipsticks are really long-lasting long and really hold their colour well. Um, so yes, this MAC Dazzle Glass in Extra Amps, bright pink, sparkly, amazing. So that's it for my like beauty favourites and things like that. Um, I've got a few other things to share with you. The first of which that I've been really loving in August is coolers. And as you can see, I'm wearing one already um, on this little butterfly print tunic. This is from New Look. Um, I got it quite recently so I'm guessing that they're still available. Um, I just love the collar. I think it adds so much to the top um, and also you know like when the winter and autumn winter comes around um, you know you could put a jumper on and have the collar poking out the top um, and that would just look really cute. Um, I also bought another one because I like them so much. Uh, this one is a sort of sheer greeny fabric with orange flowers on. And again, you've got the lovely little, I think it's a Peter Pan collar, is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, at the top and then at the back, both of these tops have just got a little button that does up at the top. And then a little opening, which I think is really cute. Um, they weren't that expensive maybe £20-ish. Um, as I said, great sort of for the end of summer. Apparently we're going to have a really warm September. So these will be great to wear then. But you can also layer them up with a cardigan. Um, or like I said, put a jumper on underneath and just have the collar poking up out the top. So they're really versatile. Um, and I will definitely be looking out for more collars um, as autumn and winter comes around because I just think they're so cute. So that was that. The other thing I've really been loving this month is my Ray-Ban sunglasses. Now I know they all have different names and if I'm really honest with you I have no idea what these ones are called. All I know is they look awesome. They're really classic sunglasses and a lot of them do have a like a logo actually on the lens but because I got um, these are prescription sunglasses, they take the logo off the lens because they have to put spe special lenses in them. But I've still got it on the side um, and I think it's just it's nice and subtle but they look really classic. Um, I will just try them on for you. Um, and it has been fairly sunny recently and I've been using them quite a lot. So the only thing I do need to do is get the backs bent around a little bit more because they don't sit brilliantly on my ears. Um, but that's fine, they'll do that. These ones are also from Ray-Ban as well. Um, I went a bit Ray-Ban crazy last time I had my eyes tested. But you know, I, I didn't mean to get Ray-Ban glasses. I just happened to try this pair on and they look the best um, out of all the ones I tried on. So yeah, um, I would... I would. I know a lot of people maybe don't like spending too much on a pair of sunglasses, 
and I think I probably wouldn't have bought Ray-Bans if I couldn't have got them prescription just because I wouldn't have worn them that much but if you can get a pair of you know if you do need prescription sunglasses I really would you know recommend treating yourself to a pair of Ray-Bans because they're gonna last I did get insurance on them and these ones because knowing me something will happen further down the line and they will need replacing um but yeah I, I think they look nice and you know i'm sure you probably can get similar sunglasses for a lot cheaper but i wanted to treat myself it says they're made in italy and i think they do look quite italian chic um and these ones are sort of like got they sort of like got brown and black mottled uh, frames, they sort of change colour in the light which I think is quite nice. So yeah, and they come in a nice little leather case with a cleaning cloth um, and that just slips in my handbag so I've got them whenever I'm out if I need them um, and like I said hopefully we're having a warm September so hopefully I'll get more use out of them next month as well. Right, a couple of last things. Um, I've just come back from holiday, we went to Centre Parks in Suffolk and it was lovely. Um, I'm going to do a little blog post about it at some point so that will either have gone up before you see this or after I haven't decided yet what I'm uploading when. Um, but I couldn't obviously go there without looking in the gift shop. Um, we went last year so I knew that the gift shop sold a lot of Kath Kidson um, but it also started selling Emma Bridgewater as well um, and just loads of little cute gifty things that you find in that kind of shop. So I picked up a couple of Kath Kidson mugs. So I've been wanting some for ages um, and I saw that they had a display of like quite a few different ones and I thought why not. They were £6 each but they did a deal where you got two for £10 which I think is a bargain for Kath Kidson mugs because usually like I say they're about £6 each possibly more. Um, and it was quite hard to choose which ones I liked, they had quite a few nice ones um, but I decided to go for this sort of cream coloured one with the big pink flowers on it and then also this one which kind of matches my t-shirt um, <laughs> which has got the blue background and the sort of pink floral splashes on it as well um, and they're going to be great for the winter drinking my tea out of um, yeah, I love Kath Kidson. I just think it's so girly and British and yeah, I love the patterns. I, I love them. <laughs> That's all I can say. There's not much more to say about them. They're great. Last thing I've got to show you is something else I bought um, when we were at Centre Parks is this tin. And it says on it, laughter is the best medicine. Actual medicine is pretty good too. Um, and I saw it and I just thought how cute it was but what I've decided I think I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make it into like a little sort of happy box so perhaps fill it with photos and almost like a kind of a first aid box but for those days when you know you feel really down or you're struggling or you just need something to pick you up. And I just thought, you know, with it saying laughter is the best medicine, it would be good to have things in there that I could open it up and, you know, would make me smile, would help, you know, if I'm feeling quite down. Um, I've talked before on my blog that I have depression. So it's finding ways to keep you going. And, um, you know, I'm hoping this might be one of them. This tin was £8.99. Um, it's very solid. Um, and it's, it's sort of big enough to store photos and things like that in, but it's not too big, so it's not going to take up too much space. Um, so perhaps I will put that together and then maybe do a video of it for you if you're interested in seeing what I put in there. Um, and I'm also making a happy scrapbook as well, so I can always show you what's in that if you're interested in sort of having a look and seeing what I put in there to make me happy. Perhaps it will give you some ideas or perhaps you're just nosy like I am and like looking at what people do. Um, 
the last thing I wanted to talk about was um, one of my August favourites, which is um, a vlog, um, and it is the Sacconi Jolies. Um, Anna and Jonathan and Amelia and Eduardo are just lovely. I've never met them, but they, I don't know, I don't know. They, they managed to put out a video every single day, which is entertaining, which makes you laugh. Um, I could watch the kids all day, they are so cute together. They get, they get on so well. Amelia looks after Eduardo all the time. Um, I love Anna because she's so fashionable and chic. Jonathan just does all the, I don't know, he narrates a lot of the videos. Um, he, may, he makes the, um, the introduction. Um, and together, they're just lovely to watch. If you haven't seen them before, I'll try and link them down below. Because um, like, if you're like me, I'm now addicted. I have to go and check my iPad at 6 o'clock each day to see what their video is that they have uploaded. They're in Sorrento at the moment, um, so even more of a reason to watch because it just looks so beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's my kind of favourite vlog of August. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else to show you. Um, I'm kind of hoping I can make this a regular thing, like a monthly favourites. But we'll see, because I'm starting college next month and I don't know sort of how much time and energy I'm going to have left. Um, but I will try if it's something you'd like to see. Um, but yeah, so that's it for my August favourites. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at what I've been enjoying this month. Um, I'd love to hear what you've been enjoying, so do comment in the box below. Um, and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.